Okay, Giga, I'm sorry. You have to go in front. Look, just, just, just. Giga Dilosaurus went extinct, guys. <laughs> it's over. Do, do you need some love, Giga? You, you can go on this table. You know, next to my mouse, which totally won't knock you off. <laughs> this looks very professional. I think it's because of the brick wall. I have the to brick be... wall, yeah. It's nothing you did. Okay, so now, do I get reflection in my glasses? Uh, this is my, uh, no. No? Do I get reflection in mine? No. Cool. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. We're recording over there. We're recording audio over here. All right, so this is, what is this, February? Um, this it is, is February 17th. February 17th of 2024. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, I think we're going to be talking about creatures with really long snouts. No, I think it's going to be the no, topic. The theme is actually um, size misconceptions. Oh, size misconceptions. Okay, we're going to talk about size misconceptions. I am much taller than I look in real life. That is, n that is not true. You're like two inches. The camera taller. takes ten inches off. So you tell <laughs> like four foot? <laughs> Uh, okay. so anyway, so, all right, so we're, what, and these are, these are not all the same creature, right? These no. are various okay. sundry creatures for which. These are different. Okay. These are all Spinosaurus. Oh, they, okay. So we've done something on Spinosaurus. But we're going to do a new so, one because I okay. have a new figure and I, oh, okay. I, now I know what papers are like, I have paper sources now. Okay. And this is the, yeah. this is the newest one? No, that's the newest oh, one. Oh, this is the newest one. This right, the end one, Okay, yeah. so this here, this is... That's, new guy. That like it's a new guy on the block. That that since like about I'd say twenty twenty two or well twenty twenty. Yeah. This has been Spinosaurus. Okay. So and it, and we, he's a he's a pin pin n pin n s o p n s o yes yeah. p n s o pretty nice slimy organism. I, I, no, I don't know what P N S O stands. It's the company. It's the company. P N S O. It's a good company. It's a really good company, and it's. It's yeah, like the they made this, I think, in like 2020. Yeah, but they got confused and they didn't realize Spinosaurus was going back on two legs. So when they realized that in 2023, they released a new version with it on two legs. And this isn't PNSO, no, that's Popo, Popo, and then okay. all of this is Safari. Safari, okay, yeah, all right, but let's start at the beginning. Okay, so we will start with the Roadrunner, even I recognize that one's a Roadrunner. Yeah. So basically, these are from a week of Facebook posts, so we're gonna cover these, and okay. then we'll end off with the whole Spinosaurus debacle. Okay, so should I move these out of the way for a little bit? Yeah, you can. Okay, so let's put these maybe on. put him in the middle of the table. Put him the well, I don't want him to be blocking. He's the fragile one. Oh, I got gotcha. you. No, I don't care how it looks, he's important. <laughs> he's important. Okay, <laughs> I have okay. more priorities than that. Okay. We can put him over here in front of me because I, it doesn't matter. Ooh, Nobody can about, see me. Yeah. Because I'm 10 inches taller than I look. And then so. we can move these over too because okay. we're talking about Rotom. This guy keeps trying to kill people all morning. He is a giga. I mean, have you watched He's, Dominion? Oh. Please don't. He's going to take a nap. nap. Please don't. That don't one's going to sleep over. for now. All right. Okay. So this is a Roadrunner. Specifically a greater Roadrunner. A greater Roadrunner as opposed to a not greater Roadrunner. As opposed to a Oh, look at that right there. Runner. Put him right there. There is a lesser roadrunner. The lesser roadrunner. This is the greater roadrunner. This is the greater. He is greater. I don't know. Okay, what makes him greater? Um, he's bigger. Really? In size. But like, like, uh, I mean, like the ones we see at Brookfield Zoo. Are yeah, they those smaller? Are great, those, are those are greater. Yeah. Okay. They're only like this big. Yeah. Yeah. Greater roadrunners are. Um, they get about um, nineteen ounces at most. While lesser road runners, well, weight can be a little misleading in birds. Yes, because they have hollow bones. Yes, but so, no, the biggest grade of road runners weigh like nineteen ounces. Okay, but they only get like literally like this big, right? I think, um, yeah, I think so. Um, Great road runners get about not even a foot tall. They're like yes. eleven and three quarters inches. Yeah, and I'm um, twenty two feet long. Look, yeah, and most of that's the tail. Yeah. I mean the good portion the of that's the tail. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. They have a um twenty four inch wingspan. No. No, they can't have a twenty four their wingspan can actually be as wide as they're long. Oh, nice. But they don't like to fly. They can fly, but they prefer to run. They prefer to run. Hence Roadrunner. Yeah. <laughs> and they can run they can 
They can run up to 20 miles an hour. The fastest ever recorded is 26. Yeah. Almost as fast as as many inches as I am tall. <laughs> <laughs> On camera, because I lose 10 inches. Okay, pal. <laughs> Yeah, so Roadrunners are really cool. They are. They are. I I do like watching them run around in the exhibit. They are yeah. really, like, fast. They, like, zero to 60. They can only get up to 20 miles an hour, Dad. Well, but I'm saying, okay, zero to 26, bam. Like, like, like they can outrun Wile E. Coyote like that. Actually, in real life, they're not the best at outrunning Coyotes. Coyotes can catch them in real life. My entire childhood yeah. is now obliterated. It's destroyed. This is oh well then you know welcome what welcome to science but no wait that's why that's why Roadrunner was so smart are they smart are they intelligent for their like, um, as a bird they can hunt snakes okay because that he always outsmarted Wile E Coyote also I've watched a video of it catching a hummingbird out of midair to eat skilled because I will I will say there were cartoons where Wile E Coyote kept up they them. also will eat black widows and tarantulas nice can we have one. We don't have black widows or tarantulas. And to prevent their onslaught, Centipede, we could get a... scorpions, mice, small birds, green hummingbirds, mice. lizards, small snakes. Go back to the mice thing. They eat mice? Yeah. Can we have a fleet of them in the basement? Some instances gray robots have even been seen hunting bats, squirrels, or young rabbits. Rabbits and mice. You're hired. <laughs> I like this guy. They also eat eggs of other birds and carrion as well. So is there is there speediness... Like, particularly because of what they oh, hunt? Yeah. Okay, so this is an early pioneer. I guess catch a rabbit. So these are from early pioneers, so it might not be 100%, like, accurate. Okay. Uh, that They say they saw roadrunners putting ca pieces of cactus around a snake to trap it. Brilliant. Okay, I my childhood is back in tech. <laughs> the roadrunner outsmarted Wile E. Coyote and Acme Corporation. I must. But guess what family roadrunners are in? Not Coyote. The Cuckoo family. They're oh, like cuckoo birds? No, like cuckoo. Oh, like cuckoo a, birds. Yeah, they're cuckoo they're a type of cuckoo, cuckoo bird. bird. Oh, yeah. Nice. Does that mean cuckoo birds are smart? Um, a lot of cuckoo birds are nest. Not this one, but a lot of cuckoo birds are nest parasites where they lay their eggs in other birds' nests. <laughs> Which is also why um, they're all about the making of the kids, but not so much the raising of the kids. Comes to DuPage's mascot, the Roadrunner. Uh, it, I, I, it's nowhere near any Roadrunner. College of DuPage. Because they're smart. Wait, they take the bird's ultrajet name, Chaparral. Oh, that's the name of the biome that... Okay, that's interesting. Chaparral's like coastal scrub. Okay. And apparently that's an alternate name for a Roadrunner. That's nice. Oh, look, Wikipedia mentions Riley Coyote and Roadrunner are two protagonists in the wrong running show. Science! <laughs> also i look there's this i don't i think we got rid of them we ha, i had these couple wiley coyote books that taught me more about science than science yeah. class I ever did yeah it hey. taught me plasma was real that's how that's everything i know yeah. i learned from acme corporation i would have not known about plasma until like high school if it wasn't for that see when we were growing up our cartoons were educational but also it was a book it was a book, well, cool. based on a cartoon, though. Yeah, see? but it was a book because books are cool. And you know, if you don't read the book on gravity, you can walk off a cliff. Maybe I should look at the camera. And be fine. Oh, it's sorry. over there. It's that thing. Yeah, that I know away. where it is, Dad. But <laughs> I'm just trying to, I don't mem. there's so much stuff. I just know where to find it and like how to talk about it. But I, I can't memorize it all at once. So That's fine. Look at it. When in the real world, you're allowed to reference source materials. Yeah. It's not like school where you have to remember the date that a general died on a hill yeah. because for some reason, um, the date that he died is important. Yeah. Anyway, that's my opinion. These guys live in the southwestern United States and Mexico, by the way. So the deserts. Yeah. Okay. I, I, well, that makes sense. Yeah. And the and snake. So so typically snakes, oh, scorpions, wait, and stuff. No, hey. no, those are also called chaparral cocks. There you go. That's kind of. Um, and, ground cuckoo and snake killers. Ground cuckoo. I'm going with ground cuckoo. Um, I'm going with snake killer. That's and if you go, and if you go to the College of DuPage, you'll see one. I'm sure. So probably on a shirt. Sun themselves right. to actually like when they wake up, they will sun themselves to, like get up faster. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And they uh, so they so 
when we say they run fast, they can run fast on sand, obviously. Yeah. I mean, Which, if you've ever tried that on the beach. Well, well they're really light, so they're probably not going to sink like we well, do. Well, but they also have to have wide feet. Yeah, they Big have feet. Um, feet. I believe they have feet like a parrot. Yeah, they have the two toes in front, two toes in the back. back. Okay. So to kind of distribute their weight they yeah. have. Okay, you're not yeah. seeing it. I'd have to get really close to the camera because that's a small We'll part. We'll do a close-up of him. Oh, Rogos are even Pretty found like the Freya top Deville. hits. So they live oh. with like mammoths and Smilodon and stuff. Nice. Did they have any symbioticness? No. I mean, like the mammoths were afraid of snakes. I so the, no. The Roadrunner. I mean, if if El, if Pachyderms are actually afraid of mice. Yeah, I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I don't but think if they, they did, then this guy would do. <laughs> oh, I, that's right. He eats mice too. Yeah. Um. Well, that's kind of cool. And they, so they can fly, but they just don't fly real far. No. They're just, they're very health conscious. They just, they prefer, they prefer, to, they prefer to jog. They prefer to run. Yeah, they use it to like flap up to a tree or something. Uh, or oh, a oh, oh, oh. Like a, with the, found in the rock and the thing in the Asia and the stuff and the dinosaur. Like a Mycoraptor or uh, Archaeopteryx. Uh, Archaeopter, that's the that's one. That's from Europe. Well, Europe. Europe. Well, that's next to Asia. What, what What's the famous one? Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx, yeah. Like that. So this is a modern also, day Archaeopteryx. I think it's more of a real life Velociraptor. It lives in the same habitat, eats the same things, about the same size, could and has the same proportion. So yeah, honestly, I think Rodonus are more of a Velociraptor. Well, I'm calling him Archie. Okay, I'm calling him Velociraptor. We can agree to disagree. You should agree with me. I'm the science nerd. So, so Archie. Why is my nose itchy? <laughs> what? It was. So Archie here. Um, alive today, but so he is he is he like well he's obviously descended from those yeah velociraptors he's, he's a bird yeah so he has remained in many ways exactly yeah what that was and, except and now evolved. he has a beak and he can fly a little oh he can fly oh he can fly fully he could like migrate if he so chose yeah if he got fed up with his uh, neighborhood association and yeah they just wanted to move to Arkansas okay cable of limited flight it spends most of his time on the ground runs up to twenty miles an hour. So, yeah. Big brain. Um, All right, but let's talk about what eats roadrunners. What eats roadrunners? Not me. Coyote. Coyote. So coyotes do eat roadrunners. Yes. Sorry, all of my fellow 50-somethings, but the coyote often wins in real life. Coyotes also eat, like, deers, rabbits, hares, rodents, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and vertebrates. Like, basically anything they can eat. So, really, the two of them were in competition for a lot of the same food. Mm. So... That's probably how they ran into each other. And the coyote was like, huh, chicken. Okay. But really, they eat rodents. and I mean, they... Yeah, they eat a lot of this. So they would, they would live around each other like naturally. And also hunt bigger game. And are coyotes naturally, like... I know they live around us. Uh-huh. But do they also live in desert? Yeah, they live any... Like, all across all of North America. Pretty much they anywhere. They found everywhere. So yeah. they should be, like, our national animal. <laughs> Them and the turkey. Oh, I saw turkeys on the way home from college this week. Nice. There's three of them on the side of the road. Why did they cross the road? They didn't cross oh. the road. They were walking alongside <laughs> it. They were <laughs> hitchhiking. No, they weren't. Thumbing it. Car. No, they were just, they were just walking walk. along the road. Because yeah, they probably live out there. Oh, that's true. Also, wild turkeys can fly. That's true. Not our domestic turkeys. So, so coyotes, they're kind of the, they're the scruffy little guys. They're like. Yeah, I mean, they only get the biggest ones. The average male weighs from 18 to 44 pounds. Okay, note. Put a big asterisk right here in the video. Note. That's a coyote. That is not a wolf. For comparison, that, that I mean, not exactly, but. That, that's a giga. Well, but I'm just saying size-wise. Um, I don't think that's. Not that. that we not don't that have big. a wolf here. Well, no, but. So, okay. Well, if if you run into a wolf in your neighborhood, you won't come out to me the next day and, get, and go, oh, yeah, yesterday I saw a wolf in the yard. That was a coyote. If you come out and say, holy God, oh my God, there was a wolf. That was a wolf. Okay. <laughs> if you just come out and say there was a wolf, that was a coyote. Okay. Um, just remove asterisk now. Think of wolves. Wolves and cougars and humans are the only three real threats to a coyote predator wise. Yeah. So they're kind of up there in the food chain. Yeah. And also, especially like where we live, since wolves are gone and cougars are gone, they're they, they they're pretty much at the top. Yeah. And they eat a lot of vermin. 
various and sundry. They Will they eat something as big as like a possum? They'll hunt a deer. Oh, a deer. Okay. But I believe a possum. that's different. Coyotes don't live in packs. But like, but they if, hunt sometimes. But if three coyotes walk into each other and they see some deer nearby, they'll go hunt the deer together. They give they give each other the look. <laughs> yeah. And the whole plan is coordinated. Down yeah. goes the deer. So when you hear them howling and stuff, I mean, it could be a like a small family unit, yeah. like they had like, pups and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but if they're out hunting, it may just be adults who happen to live in the same neighborhood and they don't hang out and watch football games. They get together. To kill yeah. things bigger than them. Um and they and there's a lot of them in our area. Yeah. Uh we see them on here all the time. Yeah. Now the like brown, gray, yeah, is that it two depends different? on the subspecies. Okay. So for, they're all coyotes. They can all breed with each other, but there's different subspecies. Yeah. Like the ones we have are more fluffy and maybe I have a little more brown, but like the ones in the Rockies might be more gray. So that's just an environmental, yeah. they tend so to have. The Great Plains are more tan, you know, that sort okay. of thing. So that's more nature versus nurture. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I And mean, do they do they mate for life? I mean, will you find a, a husband and wife pair or do they? I think so. Let's see if. Would... The, mom, the mama raises the cubs. Pups. Pups. The pups. She doesn't raise cubs. She doesn't give birth to bears. Um, yeah, they're gregarious, but they're not dependent on. They're not like wolves, but they will like hang out together. Okay. But not mated for life. No, I don't. Yeah, no. Okay. Yes, no, they're not mate for life, but like they'll like they will they will hang out together sometimes. But while she's eat. while she's pregnant, will he like bring her um, rodents on Valentine's Day or something? I mean, you know, hang out while she's just dating. The newly mated pair then establish a territory and either construct their own dens. Yeah, so no. So they'll at least get the kids off the ground together. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. I don't think I've ever seen cubs around, although we wouldn't see them. We, we would see them. mom and dad hunting. We wouldn't see the cubs necessarily. I've seen fox around. Well, but not cubs. Yeah. Kit, kit, whatever no, they're called. It looks like a mated pair will stay together. Oh. But, like, other coyotes may join them and then leave and stuff like that. So basically, they're neighbors. Yeah. They're neighbors. They're coyotes, married. Coyotes, coyotes are more like neighbors, while like wolves are more like a big family. Big family. family. Makes okay. sense. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Yeah. So on 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 Super Deer Sunday, they get together yeah. to have a community non barbecue. Yeah. So they mostly eat. So yeah, but they will hunt deer if they do that. But usually they eat things more like you know mice and squirrels. And rabbits so not and something. So a possum would be kind of on the larger side. Yeah. They're typically rabbits are smaller. Yeah. Typically. Uh -huh. And mice are probably great. Little birds at all. Well, roadrunners. Uh -huh. Yeah. They'll but not them. around here. We don't really have roadrunners. No, we don't have roadrunners. So they probably leave the birds to the Cooper's Hawks. They really like things like, ro they actually really prefer things like roadrunners, young water boards, and then things like pigeons. Oh. So are there a lot of, coy I bet there's a lot of coyotes in, in Chicago. Yeah, probably. A lot of pigeons. With the lake and the river and the bird uh -huh. pigeons and. So they'll, all of the birds they'll eat, but not very common, are things like thrashers, locks, sparrows, turkeys, and e rarely swans and pelicans. But that's like a blue moon. Well, that's thing. a pretty big bird. Yeah, that's a blue moon thing. Yeah, like you have to be like a lot of animals will eat more things than they usually will. Okay, like even coyotes will eat like vegetables. You know what a blue moon is? No, isn't it two full moons in a month? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not, tr it's not blue then. Well, no. The it's, construct of people. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, coyotes, it's blue light. No, coyotes are primary carnivores, but they will eat things like, you know, berries and hmm. they'll eat like peanuts and stuff. So that's an important thing peanuts. to bring up. <laughs> Ky most animals aren't just an herbivore carnivore. Yeah. They'll dip into the other one if they have to. If a, if a horse sees a baby chick, it might eat it because that's free protein. If a coyote can't find food and it needs a snack, it'll eat. So when so when you say something's a carnivore or an herbivore, it's their what they primarily yes, and if an omnivore will primarily eat both. But, right. Uh -huh. So I think so. Blue, blue. You know, nighttime light is more blue. Uh -huh. Daytime light is more golden. Mm -hmm. So, blue moon. So yeah, I think right. that's. Um, so yeah, I mean, coyotes are pretty cool, and they are. If you run into a coyote with a large dog, the coyote will be like, dude. And turn Honestly, and even away. if you're just a person, unless yeah. unless you're like out in the woods and you somehow run into a pack of them, yeah, 
They don't want to mess with you. Yeah, just back away. Now, if you own a, well, probably not a chihuahua because those are ferocious beasts, ferocious beasts. But any other small dog that's not obnoxiously mean and ferocious, um, mm -hmm. eh, coyote. Yeah, I mean, if he's hungry enough, I guess. I mean, honestly, those things could even be hunted by things like a red-tailed hawk. Like yeah, you, raptors and stuff will pick them up. Yeah. Um, chihuahuas are pretty safe because they are ferocious. I, I would not rely on that. Well, I'm just, obviously, I'm not telling you to leave your chihuahua unattended near a coyote. You shouldn't leave your animals unattended outside because they can eat native wildlife. Yes, and they want to play with you. Okay, so we just got way larger now. Yes. And it, older. Yes, we're going back 95 million years. Almost to my birthday. Prehistoric Argentina. <laughs> okay. This is the Giganotosaurus. The Giganotosaurus. Which actually isn't bigger than T-Rex. Is he the same size as T-Rex? Just not as pudgy. He could possibly be longer. Not heavier. T-Rexes are... Yeah, really T-Rex was like... Yeah, T-Rexes are really stocky. Giga would not okay. have been bigger. Okay. But... Okay, the, I think there's technically estimates that make Giga bigger, but okay. those aren't really... The accepted estimates okay. are it's small. That's the thing. We don't technically know... But the estimates these days are lean more towards Giga being slightly less heavy and maybe longer, but that's up for them. So so really, since we have the skeletons. Yeah. And, and what do you call that? Shrink wrapping? When you yeah. suck the skin onto them? Like we, this. We, like we this have, is a little bit like you probably right. wouldn't see like these eye ridges. We, we have a little more difficulty estimating exactly how pudgy they were. Yeah. Because we don't know. Yeah. How put you there are estimates for Giga that put it at 4.6 tons. Okay. And there are estimates for Giga that put it at 15.2 tons. Wow. Yeah. There is a wide range of what is actually considered the weight of a Giga. You know, I think in this day and age, let's see, what's the common consensus at this point? Mm. And is this another one who... The common consensus, I think, is somewhere in the middle that's more about nine tons. So is there some? Is this another one of those that, in real life, he wouldn't have dragged his tail like this? No. He would have kept it up for balance. Yes. So basically... No, no one out. does that. Okay. Literally, no one does that. So really, his tail would have probably been out yeah. straight, unless he was swinging it at a triceratops or something. Would he live with no. triceratops? Giga lived with a, the large titanosaurs. Oh, okay. So unless he was defending himself and swatting his tail around... Not Argentinosaurus, because often these two are paired together. That would have been Mapusaurus okay. or Maraxis. But okay. Giga lived with other very large sauropods. Uh, okay. like oh, yeah. So what period are we talking here? We talking um, early Cretaceous. Early Cretaceous. So this if is before T-Rex. Oh, okay. So, so he's like a T-Rex precursor. No, they're not related. Um, Giga Notosaurus is a Cacodontosaurid. Okay. They were primarily in the south during the early Cretaceous. That's things like um, Cacodontosaurus, Giga Notosaurus, Maraxis, Mapusaurus, things like that. Okay. There, some did go into North America, like Seats. Well, actually, Seats is more up for a debate. We don't know exactly what Seats is, but things like that. But... And those might have been around before. So they might have been like a precursor to T-Rex as apex predator, but not like genetics Genetic. wise. Oh, and we've been saying this was misconceptions day, right? Yeah. So did we ever specifically state what the misconception uh, basically, was? Basically. Of these? Well, these two are like, so like Wiley Coyote Show. You know, coyotes chase road runners and they're really fast. Okay. But in real life, they coyotes actually win the hunts more often. Okay. And um, road runners are actually more dangerous than you thought. Okay. Giga, the big big misconception is that Giga is um, it's bigger bigger than T Rex when it's probably actually not. Okay, it's still a large carnivore, still one of the largest ever. It could still probably kind of like coyotes. It wouldn't be surprising if like a gang of them took down a young Titanosaurid, okay. not an adult. Okay, it would be unless it's a really old, sick adult. A pack of Gigas, a, even even a pack of giant predators could not take down a Titanosaur because those things. Like, a single adult is, like, over 100 tons. Okay. Like, if the Giga weighs 9 tons, you would need, like, over 10 of them to equal it in weight. Equal it. So. Now, so, and this guy, and this may just be a, the nature of this particular yeah. model. This is an old. Is his, is his 
like I'm I'm the T Rex Sue's skull I'm picturing is much broader. Yeah, no, they're much cr- stronger. Yes. Okay. T Rex is pretty special in that it's designed to crush. Okay. Most carnivores, like even older tyrannosaurids, most carcarodontosaurids, allosaurids, they're all more sharp teeth to pull flesh. Because I would almost like I picture. Some of these guys we're going to get to more fish hunting because they have yes. spiny teeth. Spiny teeth kind of between a T Rex and that as far as jaw design. Yeah, I actually, T- yeah, Giga actually in real life has you know more longer teeth. More sp- okay, but, but not spiny like a Spinosaurus. Not, you're thinking serrated. Serrated, yes, serrated. Yeah. T Rex also had serrated teeth, which but also important. like like long like crocodile. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Giga was more like. Cheers. Okay. While like a T Rex was more like a steak knife, I think is how people say it. Okay. And then the 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 one those that are more like a harp- fish. Those are more, more like just spear a harpoon. And grab yeah. it. Okay. Like yeah. Spinos teeth are more like harpoons. Giga's okay. teeth are more like shears. T Rex's teeth are more like steak steak knives. knives. Got that's it. how it's okay. Harpoon. Well, that's a good yeah. That's yeah. A good, that's a good reference. Okay, so that's this guy. Also, so he may be a little shrink wrapped as far as size and he could still possibly get. Up to 43 feet long. Okay. That's, um, maybe. It probably was more a little, it's probably a little more tame. Than but again, 50% of that is yeah. tail. Basically. So continue size estimates. Oh, yeah. Spinosaurus is long, though. Okay. When we oh, yeah, Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus are long. And this is, like, the one of your models that just... He's drunk. I don't also, know. he's old. He's been in bins a long time. His legs. Oh, maybe his legs are a little bent. Giga probably weighed more between six and nine tons. Okay. And probably was more forty-one feet long, so still long. Yeah. Which I think is just a little longer, if not as long as a T-Rex. Okay. So, you know, it was slightly smaller than a T-Rex. Okay. Maybe slightly longer, but so yeah. So that's Giga. Cool. Right. Also, I say Giga in, like, especially a lot of gaming communities, because Giga Nostra is pretty popular with the house for video games. A lot of times in, like, the casual dinosaur community, they'll shorten dinosaur names. So Giga Nostra is Giga. Oh, yeah. Things like that. Yeah. So I just like to explain that because people might not necessarily know. Like, Spinosaurus might be called Spino. Spino. Yeah. They just take the source out, basically. Yeah. The lizard part. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because they're not lizards. Lizards, yeah. <laughs> but this one's a little more interesting. So this okay. is Lyropleurodon. Okay. It... Most people know it, and you definitely know this paint job if you've seen it before. Paint job. Yes, paint <laughs> from the um, Walking with Dinosaurs. Okay. Because in episode three, it was the big predator in that show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. but that was based off old estimates, which were putting Lyra on like a 40, 50-foot-long titan. Okay. But now that they've actually collected more bones and they realize those other bones weren't connected to it, it was more like 21 feet long. Oh, so wow. Like half the size. Smaller individuals could be like 16, 19 feet long. Okay. Like, I mean, I'm showing you this picture. Yeah. It's It still was large for the time. It's still probably taken down like things like ichthyosaurids and stuff. Yeah. But it would have been hunting them more like a lion hunting a zebra than like a, okay. than like a god hunting. So them. more like three to four times the length of the average human not 10 times the yes. length of the average human. And it, it couldn't fit a, like a used stripped a spondylus in its mouth and pull it in the ocean. Okay. It's going to be like, it's going to be like, you know. So small. that was the misconception of this one. Is yes. that They just thought that they were like literally. There was possibilities that they were massive. Yeah. But, I mean, they still were probably the apex predators in the ocean at the time. Yeah. Hunting things like ichthyosaurs and small plesiosaurs, which in itself is a plesiosaur. Specifically, a pliosaur because of the short neck. And when we oh, say actually no, walking with dinosaurs depicted as as eighty two feet long. Wow. Yeah, no, they were um about um they were about sixty feet too long, and they also estimated it being a hundred fifty tons. When in real life, it would be one to not even two tons. So, and when we say, I think in a, on land. We can declare in this region, mm-hmm. this creature is the top of the food chain. Mm-hmm. In the ocean, the top of the food chain in that geographical region of the ocean also depends on the depth That's at which important. they live. Lyra, right? it, 
that that's interesting you bring up because back at that point, it was now Europe. And okay. Europe was an island chain. Okay. Like lo- like we're talking like thousands of islands. Yeah. In a small sea. Okay. Shallow. Okay. So it would not have actually been that deep. Okay, so it was in shallow waters, and it really there wasn't much below it because there was dirt no. below. I mean, it. you. I mean, I don't know exactly. Well, how I mean, it in comparison be, to the ocean. Yes, in today. comparison to the ocean, it was so shallow, so shallow. because in the in the oh, there's what do they call them? There's the 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 light layer, and then the twilight, um, sunlight the, zone, twilight zone, midnight zone, and then the area we have no uh, idea. The abyssal zone. Yeah, the abyssal zone. So in each of those layers, uh-huh. so to speak. There can be totally different yeah. creatures and environments and food chains. So yeah, like, and some things do migrate from layer to layer at night or a lot of things. It's actually the biggest migration in the world happens every night. Okay. It's when when the come- sun sets, they go up to feed, and then when the sun rises, they go, they back go down. down. It is called the largest migra- it is the largest migration that ever happened. So that's the only t- time that like colossal squids and stuff would come up a little bit higher. They don't come up. Colossal squids and stuff don't come up because they need the pressure to keep their bodies together. Oh. If oh. they go up, that's why whenever we find them up here, they're they're dead or dying. They look like an enormous blobfish. Because and that's why blobfish look like that. Oh, so they blobfish don't look like that in their no. native lair. Okay. <laughs> like blob that's a that's what a blobfish is supposed depth. to look like. Okay. Uh, yeah. So much more. Yeah, you yeah. can't see it, but like yeah. blobfish are like these like brown, spiky little guys. Okay. And then you pull them up, and then they become these. Oh, that's right. So now I'm remembered that there's things that eat like. Yeah, that's a blob. Look at that. Yeah. That that's a fish with a skeleton. There's there's things that leak like planktons and stuff. So they come up to what during the day would have been a slightly more lit zone uh-huh. to eat little tiny things Uh and then back down where those little tiny things don't exist Uh during the day. So this guy, when we say it was the top of the food chain in what would be considered that upper layer of water, kind of the layer we're used to exploring. And he would hunt the equivalent of things like dolphins, the ichthyosaurs back then. Okay. Which were reptiles, not mammals, but. Okay. And so he would still been the top predator, but just not as massive. Okay. Also, this is completely separate. Mm -hmm. There's this popular you um, internet series called Charlie the Unicorn, I think. Okay. And um, one day they had the magical Lyropleurodon come on. So now in popular media, there's like the magical Lyropleurodon. <laughs> and even in Ark Survival Evolved, um, Lyropleurodon, you can only find it very rarely. And you have to tame it with honey. You have to feed it honey to tame it. And like then poo. It, and then you have, to, and then it only stays with you for like thirty minutes, and then it despawns. Now, I, now I'm going to picture a Lyoplorodon with his head in a honey pot and his little legs wiggling. In like real life, the they poop. would have eaten honey. <laughs> Flowers didn't even evolve until the early Cretaceous. They could not; have, <laughs> they lived in a honeyless world. Oh man! No wonder they died. <laughs> How, what did they put in their tea? They didn't drink tea, <laughs> Dad. How'd you have a cuppa? They hunted like <laughs> Athelmosaurus and Ichthyosaurus and Cryptoclitus and stuff. Nice. Also, this guy was found in Germany, so. Not this model specifically. The real creature. The real creature. This yeah. this was found in our family room. <laughs> no, it's found in my in, was... in James's bat cave. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. So and that's the misconception is that they were ocean sized. Where really they were kind of just big sized. <laughs> cool. But other than that, this is a pretty accurate depiction. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a pretty accurate depiction overall. Yeah. Is, I mean, okay. also, uh, this one, I think it's, it just ends up, the proportions are still the same. It's just okay. much smaller. Much smaller. Okay. But spiky teeth. Also, I will say, teeth. even though this paint scheme is connected with Walker of Dinosaurs, it still kind of makes sense. It has counter shading. This is very common in ocean animals. The top is dark, so when you're looking down, it's dark. Mm-hmm. Then the bottom's light, so when you're looking up, it looks like the surface. So, like, when you look down at water, it looks like a dark surface. That's why almost you everything in the through. ocean is, like, gray on top and white, white on, the, on bottom. the bottom. It's because of that. Okay. And even though this is a little more artistic. I'm not yeah. Artistic. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like that, yeah. Okay, so counter shading. So that's cool. Yeah. 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 And I, even dolphins are like that. Mm-hmm. Typically yeah. more gray or on the top and, and lighter gray or white on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Very cool. Well, that was that was whatever this guy is. Lyoplorodon. Mm-hmm. So. And you said you had written. 
No, for Spinosaurus, I do. Oh, for Spinosaurus. Also